Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Matic. Before we jump into the price action, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and why not leave us some feedback down below in the comment section. Also in the description you'll find a link to the Discord, come check it out, it is free to join. Once you're in the general chat area, just add mention member of staff and we'll be able to help you out with anything you may need. Okay, so let's get into it. So primarily what I'm looking for for Matic is the fact that we have this five wave move here. So this five wave move can be in isolation or potentially it is still part of this as a flat corrective move here and effectively would be looking to break down from that point. So if this is a flat, what we'd be looking for is a breakdown after this, potentially looking to take out this low point here. So that is what we would be sort of keeping an eye out with regards to that. Um, and we'll go over the macro sort of side that I'm looking at in a minute, but let's come in here onto this smaller time frame. So the problem is within this fourth wave, we would have to argue that there's a couple of things that we can see. Either we are, the problem is we have this overlap. So because of this overlap, either we have to say that we finished up to this fifth wave point here, um, or alternatively, we're still within a diagonal. So what we'd have to argue if we are looking at this as diagonal is we'd have to say that between in this zone, we'd have to look at this potentially. See, I mean, we could argue that it's completed into this point, but otherwise we'd have to argue that this is a, a sorry, one, two, three, four, and then looking potentially for this additional fifth wave to the upside as an expanding diagonal. If this is the case, what we'd then be looking for is effectively looking to actually move up past this point of this $1.4086. That would that would be a zone we'd want to actually push up past for the um for the one to for the one to one of this um third wave. So what we have to keep an eye out here is there is a couple of possibilities that this could still have another wave to the upside if we're looking at this. So the thing is we do have this which looks sort of like a five wave move, but then effectively we fail to develop a fourth and fifth. So we have to just treat it as a ABC to the downside. And what we'd be looking for potentially here is that this is a one, two, three, four, and a five. So we could get one more push to the upside here. So this is just something we've got to keep an eye on. If we do push up one more time, effectively that target would be here, this $1.3565 to this $1.3704. So that would actually come and take this high again. And if we do develop this fifth wave to the upside here, what I would be anticipating then is basically having a retracement to the downside. And what we'd be looking for then effectively off of that point would be looking for a retracement back down towards this 50% potentially all the way down to sort of the 786. If we lose the 786 zone, it could be possible that um, we've got this count wrong and we've actually got that from further back here where this is a A, B, C and completed there. That actually might make more sense if we have this as a one, two, three, four, and then this is all a fifth wave. So yeah, I mean, if we do push up one more time here, we'll have to see if we maintain the low. If we do maintain the low point here of this twenty one dollar twenty three eleven, we could look to push up again in another in another leg. So we'd be looking for something like this to play out as a three wave structure. If we fail, however, to to um hold this low after completing this. Then I'll take, I'll change my actual count that potentially this is a one, two, three, four. Then actually this whole move here is a fifth wave of the diagonal. So that's what we'll have to keep an eye on. If this fails to develop this wave to the upside here, it is also possible that this could start to break to the downside. So um, yeah, it's a bit strange, this little bit of structure here. Uh, we'll have to see with what comes off the back of this, but we'll try and keep you up to date as we get more clarity. Effectively, off this current point we have, if we dropped down from the from here without taking this high um, of this, what is this high here? This one dollar thirty five twenty two. Effectively, we could be setting up for a five wave drop here. We would get this as a one two, and then actually we break down to this one point six one eight at this one dollar fifteen. So we just got to keep an eye on this. If we do fail to break back above here. We failed to develop this fifth wave. This is something that can play out. But like I said, we'd have to watch this zone down here, this 50% to the 786, to the $1.28, to this $1.25. Because if we do find support here, we could still see an additional leg up here. 
um, for the diagonal to complete rather like this, where we get this is the fifth wave to the upside. Okay, so that's what we're looking at at the shorter term uh, moves. Basically, within the structure, what we want to see is when it completes, I'm going to come out back out here onto the four hourly actually to explain this. So, what we want to see, if we're looking for the bullish case here, what we'd want to see is we'd want to see this complete and then we'd want to see this wave two. So, ideally, this wave two would be the location would be this $1.54 to this 84 cent at the bottom end of that range. So the um, there's some interesting zones right in the middle here on that golden pocket. You know, it's got quite a lot of um, correlation here between some of this uh, structure. So it could be it could be a point that we actually look to find support and then look to move away if that is going to be the case. And we're actually looking to continue this trend to the upside. So that's something that we need to just bear in mind. There is also the fact that we could have some extension within these first waves here. And basically what we'd have to just keep an eye on for here is I'd be looking for out for this potential. If we don't come down quite as deep as that normal B wave retracement, it is possible that we could argue that we get a diagonal here for a wave one. And then actually we look to break down for this so as a wave two and then look for three, four, and a five. The thing is with diagonals, we have to be careful because it also could just be, a, like I said, you know, it could just be a C wave here. Um, we're even looking at this as an A, B, C as a possibility. It would mean that we wouldn't have to take, we couldn't take this into account though anymore, this, um, this part here, unless we were looking at this as starting with a flat, having, having an X wave or a B wave, and then having this actually be a, uh, diagonal to complete that c wave so th that's what we've got to be careful of within this structure this could still be uh still be a corrective move up here and what we'd want to see is basically see this five wave move prove itself so i've actually got this mark one two here but actually it would probably be more likely that it's a one two one two because this is a one two three four and then five as we have it marked out so that is probably not right i'm going to leave it like that for the time being though uh, and effectively what we'd be looking for then is basically looking for the evidence that uh, we're looking for that bigger drop here. And we'd want to see that that come down into this zone if we're looking for the extension, the $1.11 to the $1.07 or $1.00007. Effectively, this would then give us the potential to actually push up for this five-wave move. Though we'd only get confirmation by crossing this 179.49 which could then set off a chain reaction where we actually look to push higher up here towards this $2.66 to this $2.35. But there's a lot of things that need to happen first before we can guarantee that, or well, we can never guarantee it, but before we say that it's more likely, um, we will want to see this breakdown and finding support. Otherwise, it becomes less likely that that's going on, and we could just have a different structure uh, playing out here. So effectively, I'm going to just change this over. What we need to be careful of is we can look at this in a couple of ways. We can either look at this as a B wave from here, where this is an A, this is a B, and then actually we look for that C wave to the downside. Alternatively, we just look at this as an A here, and this whole move is a B, and we could still potentially get the C wave. So even if we do get this play out as a five wave structure here, we need to just be careful that we don't come back down here, because the C wave um, would potentially look to target out the zone of this 80 cent to this 68.23 if it does play out as a five wave move here to the downside um looking for a retracement to complete this then we could still be looking for this b wave if we did get this move like this i would then be more likely to say that this b wave is actually here and then we could actually look for an additional push to the upside though once again if we do get a five wave structure here We'd have to be careful that this move doesn't come back up here, retrace into this zone, and then actually look to continue to the downside. And this doesn't become a bigger structure like a W, X, and then we're going to get a zigzag for Y, something to that effect. So, you know, there, there's a couple of options still on the table. So nothing's confirmed yet, but what we'd want to see is, like I said, either if we're looking at this as an extension, we want to see that retracement to the zone up here. Alternatively, if we're looking at this as a completed five wave move from this point, if we were looking for that bullish potential, we want to see that deeper retracement potentially back up into some of these zones and then actually look for that five wave structure to start developing from the upside to the upside. If we do see something like that, 
you know, it's safer rather than just trying to enter now to wait for that pullback, wait to see that structure. And then once you get the secondary pullback, you know, then if you want to, if you want to look for a long position, obviously this is not financial advice, but you know, if you want to look for a long position from that point, you've got a nice close stop. It's only over here rather than, you know, entering up here and really, if you want to trade this for a longer term play, your stop's got to be below this. Um, otherwise, you know, it's, you're going to get stopped out here um, at some point. So, yeah, I mean, we need to give it a bit of time, but we'll keep you up to date with the moves as we see them happen. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a great day and um, we will see you in the next video. Take care, Andy.